New Delhi from Zervas Delhi NCR chapter. Uh, on behalf of uh, Zervas World uh, Federation of Art and Culture and UNESCO Club of Arts and Letters of Akea, we welcome you to Zervas Delhi NCR chapter volume 2 Conference of Expression online international exhibition. Uh, I must on at the start thank all the artists and at the overwhelming response we have got for our online event and I am really happy indeed and delighted to promote Indian artists and international artists on this great forum. Uh, I being an artist myself, it gives me immense pleasure and it's my honor that I am the president of the Delhi NCR chapter. In the pandemic times, with all the difficulties and the heartaches and the loss of family, worldwide every single country has gone through. I firmly believe and so do a lot of artists today who are participating that art is the best therapy and a healer and art is the ultimate happiness because your imagination and your creation and your canvases or your sculptures or, uh, or your uh, uh, anything what you work with, whether it is wood or any medium, is not only a way or a tool for healing but is also a way of bringing out and expressing one's own emotions and the connect to the outside world. Art has no boundaries, that is my firm belief. All artists, we all belong to the world. So let us come together and enjoy the confluence of expression and hope to heal and make people happy. Here is Confluence of Expressions, Volume 2 by Zervas Delhi NCR. The first artist is Hind Nasir from Jordan. It is my absolute honor and privilege to present Her Royal Highness's work, the sensitivity and force she displayed in her work, and the flow of idea and her desire to attain the absolute kindles the drive of creativity, quote unquote, as the artist says. Her own personality and her own attitude, her own ideology, her own thought process is reflected in the artist's work. So here is Hind Nasser, Her Royal Highness from Jordan. Next artist is Manju Srivatsa from India. Uh, having a corporate career for more than two decades, a banker by profession, she is an artist with extraordinary work that speaks volumes of her own personality and her special love for flowers. Watercolor medium brings magical flow of life to her canvases. To quote the artist, art thrives in the realms of heart and is nurtured by our soul. She works with the medium she chooses and that is watercolor. And the canvases, if you look at them, is as if you are reciting poetry. Here we present Manju Srivatsa.
Anuradha Malik's art is not only a reflection of her spirituality and her connection to the inner core. Her art is realistic, colorful and magnificent. The next artist is Yu Suma, a talented artist whose art is a way of being and a way of communicating with her own self. Her work is an elusive image which connects to her heart and her imagination. Yu Suma. The next artist is Richa Rao, an extraordinary, very talented emerging artist. Her work presents the beauty even in the smallest aspects and objects in and around human life. Besides her own spiritual interpretation of her work, she leaves it to the viewers to find a connection and a little story of their own. Richa Rao. from Singapore is the next amazing senior artist. Her work is very well recognized. Her art is her therapy, a thought-provoking, engaging and stimulating process, a way of healing for her. <clears throat> she believes that confluence of expressions and this getting together of artists is not only a healing process, but also she feels that we as artists in a group have a power to change the mindsets. Parul Mehra from Singapore. The next artist is Vinita Rathor, a very senior established artist 
who's had many exhibitions and has participated in many group shows. A work of art which did not begin in emotion is not art, quote unquote the artist. Her every canvas, her every piece of art is connected to a thought, to an emotion, or to a cause she's passionate about. Her work is very colorful, very realistic, and the minute details she has in on her canvases is just a treat to watch. Vinita Rathor. Nishant Badami, a young, budding, upcoming, emerging artist with a very modern outlook and a very practical outlook, has, has not had any formal training in art, but her experimentation with different tools and mediums is a treat to watch. Most of her work is very spontaneous, and if there is a thought that follows, it evolves in the painting. So basically, it's a little story on a canvas where it starts with a dot and it has a beginning and an end and a middle. Paintings give Her painting and her work gives her a sort of liberation and a connection to the inner as well as outer world. She just loves to explore and discover and her canvases are her play field where she comes up with fabulous work. Nishant Badan. The next artist is Jyoti Saini Siddiqui from India. She's an established artist who runs her own NGO and promotes a lot of art in, in India as well as in the international forum. The best thing about her work is mostly connected to nature. She looks deep into the nature and then probably she understands everything better. Nature is what she likes to delve deep into. Nature inspires the artist it, it gives her a sense of awe and invokes the feeling of divine phenomena of universe. Jyoti Seni Siddiqui. Suruchi Arora Sachdeva is the next artist from Jordan. She is an interior designer by profession and is an upcoming talented artist. Her art is inspired by different mediums and cultures. She has an amazing talent of capturing the minutest details and translated on a canvas with absolute precision. Each piece she has created is a little story which she's trying to narrate. Her work is also driven by her own emotions and imaginations and instinct and her absolute passion for creating. Suruchi Arora Sachdeva. Dr. Ramila Dhanteja is from Jordan, a pediatrician by profession, but an artist par excellence. Her bright colors and her intricate drawing and painting and her love for, for, for figures makes her work different. She's a self-taught artist and she enjoys experimenting and exploring her new, her new found recent artistic instincts very passionately. And she has some promising work.
which she displays today. Dr. Ramila Dhanteja from Jordan. The next artist is Vivek Sharma from India, a photographer par excellence who has had no formal training, but he can make magic happen through his lens. He believes that every photographer is a storyteller and everything around him is a story waiting to be told. To capture a person, event or an occurrence through the lens is like immortalizing the subject of the photograph. That's what Vivek feels. He is determined to ensure that on his journey as a photographer, he finds legacies waiting to unfold and to share them with the world. Vivek Sharma with his beautiful photography. The next artist is Mariana Vukovic from Austria. She is an artist, abstract artist, and her work uh, is an expression of her expressionist painting style. She has had many international art exhibitions in several countries. Her work has been very well acclaimed. She uses her art for charity purposes, and she is involved in a lot of charity commitments and projects whether it is animal welfare or artist in need or cancer disease patients. We present to you an abstract artist from Austria, Mariana Vukovic. The next artist is Srishti Namdev, a young upcoming artist from India. She likes to make meaningful art for its cultural value. Culture and colors attract her more and she is inspired by them in her work. She uses all mediums, acrylic, oil, mixed media, watercolors and sketching. Uh, she has uh, a good eye for detail and her the dexterity of the texture of oil colors actually touches her heart, as the artist says. Srishti Namdev from India. Vijay Rathore from India is the next artist. Uh, he is he's very talented and ha started painting at a very, very young age. His special style, what he calls, is connected lines. And he says he developed it. It took him some time to develop because he feels, the artist feels that the art has an important role in human life and there is a connection between every surface and every color and every form and every shape. He also is teaching in some NGOs. He is very talented. Vijay Rathore, an upcoming artist from India.
artist is Niamak Mehta, or rather a young sculptor presenting her sculptures. She is currently enrolled in Florence Academy of Arts in Italy. From a very, from a very young age, she found herself intensely engaged in exploring various kinds of art forms. <clears throat> and she always enjoyed uh, the, anything to be created by bare hands because for her it was a therapy, be it drawing, painting or sculpting. Thus, her art has played a major role in her development and she is uh, coming up with her pieces of sculptures which uh, are a testimony to her amazing future. Niamat Mehta from Florence Academy of Arts. artist is Karan Galotra, a young photographer from India. Photography for him is a, is a way to express his feelings and to express and present things around him in a very artistic and a creative way. The images he generally likes to click are environmental and also around from his local surroundings. Uh, what probably started as a productive uh, venture became a passion with him and he, he, he loves to keep going back to the same location till he gets that perfect shot that gives him immense joy. His photography is his passion and he absolutely completely loves it as he says. Karan Galotra, a young photographer from India. artist is young Tanisha Dunker from India. Uh, she is a young uh, upcoming artist. Uh, for her it all started with a passion for photography and art. She is an accomplished photographer and has recently been exploring her creativity also in terms of writing poetry and painting. Painting for her is like a poetry, uh, writing a poem. She also believes in looking at what is beyond the surface and reading between the lines of art that she creates. She aims to deliver art which not only inspires but also makes the viewer introspect into their own perspective of it. According to her, the art is what is between the lines. It is the poetry but instead of word, it is written with colours. artist is the youngest artist in the group, Rhythm Guy. She is a self-taught artist with a natural talent and a God gift. From a very early age, she demonstrated artistic talent and she continues to bring her creative passion to fruition. Her palette is innovative and very complex. She loves to mix whole lot of colors, sometimes even 20 colors to create a painting. As an artist, she thinks that she is a storyteller and this is her visual journey. She communicates positive powers of art and lifts her own spirits and as well as of her viewers. Her paintings are actually between reality and dreams. Rhythm believes that we can draw paint anything once we see it in our mind. artist is Prachi Pearl Baptist. She's an artist, a designer and a very uh, talented from a very young age. She's very inspired by culture and nature and her pictures are mostly very journalistic in style. 
she combines portraiture, fine art and street shots all in a balance and she tries a colouring contemplative, com contemplative narrative. Um, Prachi is also an avid writer and a painter and she says the only way to preserve a story is to tell one and she likes to tell it through her art and photography. Prachi Pearl Baptist. artist is Mithul Bhattacharya from India. She passionately believes in experiment, experimenting with all mediums of art and in different tools and diff with different ways. She has been closely associated with a lot of art galleries and her work has been ex exhibited all over. She works and paints on paper, on wood, on engineered wood. Even her terracotta pots have been very famous all over. Her painting is also on ink. And the intricate details which are shown on her work are absolutely breathtaking. Middle works uh, also with a lot of artisans in her area to support them. She's a very talented artist. Middle Bhattacharya from India. <laughs> the next artist is Praveen Kinney from India, a very highly accomplished professional from the corporate world who has discovered the artist in him and the immense capability to create. He, is, he has had his training under a very well established artist. His eye for detail and his extraordinary visual imagination makes his work a celebration of life and a prayer for him. He is very inspired by Krishna, the Hindu God and his different expressions and moods and above all the simple and yet mystic symbol of wisdom and eternal love. His canvases have a deep spiritual connect with his viewers. Praveen Kinney from India. The next artist is Dr. Shambhavi V. Murthy from Nigeria. She is a highly accomplished professional who has headed many UN and ECOWAS organizations and has held key positions in international organizations. Dr. Sambhavi has been interested in varied representation of creating expressionism. She writes, she paints, she sketches and she makes pottery and she also critiques art. She is a very talented, a very different uh, uh, artist who has an eye for detail and is very literary in her taste. Dr. Shambhavi V. Murthy. The next artist is An Mr. Anand Murthy from Canada. To quote like he says, I choose to be an uncommon man. It is my right to be uncommon if I can. He is an amazing photographer and like Anand Murthy says that he is on a quest to become a little less ignorant each day and he feels and he intends to be just a little better when he arrived. His, his, his nature of magnanimity and kindness also finds a bearing in his photography. artist is Jisha Samir from UAE. She is an artist by passion but a software engineer by profession. 
she has always been fascinated with bright colors since she was a child. She has done a lot of exhibitions and she has won quite a few awards. Uh, she is always inspired by different colors, bright colors, different mediums and has worked with different mediums. Her art is very colorful and fascinating. Jisha Samir from UAE. Neha Luthra is the next upcoming very talented amazing artist from India. She quit her corporate job and career in pursuit of art and self-discovery. Her art is a process of self-discovery, self-introspection and her work reflects the theme of self-exploration through the lens of energetic forces that drive human behavior. Neha Luthra from India. Artist is Sabrina Shehnaz from Bangladesh. Is an, she's an established artist and a professor in art and she's a recipient of Picasso Award Silver in India. She is enchanted by nature and beauty. She's most inspired by change of seasons, the colors and the various forms and shapes of nature. Be it a leaf or a plant or a flower, Sabrina, she is inspired by them. Sabrina works with oil and acrylic and mixed media and her memories and impressions and observations are a driving force behind her work. Sabrina Shehnaz from Bangladesh. Last but not the least, the artist is Mr. Abdul Momin Milton from Bangladesh, an associate professor and a very senior artist in fine arts in University of Dhaka, Dhaka from Bangladesh. His work has been recognized both nationally and internationally. He does installation art, sculpture, painting through oil, color or acrylic and mixed media. His special imprint on his work is the tradition and techniques used in wood installation in Bangladesh and also he makes his artistic statement by adding Bengali letters from the language to his work which makes it very different and it stands out. Mr. Milton from Bangladesh. So this was Confluence of Expressions 2, a combination of artists, photographers, sculptors from all over and different countries of different cultures. Um, hope the, their art and their, their creations made you happy and probably gave us a little healing which we all needed. Uh, do follow us on Zervas Delhi NCR page new, uh, on Facebook, on Instagram and on YouTube. And also you can follow me, Anupama Tribunayat, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. And uh, please stay tuned for our upcoming events. It is our endeavor to promote art, not only in India, but internationally, because we are a, organ we are a federation of world art and culture, and we believe in, multi in multicultural and multi-ethos togetherness. And we, we work together with you to bring art and promote art. God bless you. Stay safe.